Hey everybody, Pat Maloney here with Regular Guy Review. Um, previously, I did a review on the LG refrigerator that we have here, that we used to have here, that died after five years and one month. Uh, wasn't happy about that. Got the new Whirlpool, which is keeping things uh, nice and fresh. Uh, Whirlpool is an American company, which is great. Um, I think it's working much better. Uh, it's nice that it's got the double refrigerator, double ice maker here and down there, which is pretty cool. Uh, today I'm going to review the LG microwave and LG service, uh, but we also did a review on this, the hand dryer uh, that has been in here for three months or so. And I'll tell you, in the last three months, I we barely used any paper towels at all, which is fantastic. So I think I've already got my money's worth out of this thing. Uh, this is a Jetwell uh, model number 2803A, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it, because uh, I don't have to spend money on <laughs> paper towels. So, uh, so this microwave, I really like this microwave. Uh, it works well. It's the first microwave I've ever had that when I pop popcorn, the popcorn button actually works and it makes perfect popcorn. So I don't have to sit, I haven't had to sit there and, um, you know, wait, cut it off the last 10 seconds because it burns too much. Um, it's got all the controls on the inside, as you can see here, uh, for reheat, defrost cooking times, uh, that type of stuff. On the outside, it really just has a controller that lets you just add more time if you want to add more you know start you can add 30 seconds by pushing this button which is cool um i like it i like it it's nice it fits a lot of stuff um but we had an issue with it um the issue we had was the glass that's inside broke um, and it didn't break because we damaged it. Um, there must have been some kind of defect in the glass or something, which I don't have an issue with that. Okay, things are going to happen. We've had it six months. I don't have an issue with the glass breaking. I do have an issue with LG's service. Okay, this is how the service call went. Um, I made it, I saved my owner's manual. I made a phone call to the phone number on the back. If you don't have your service manual, the phone number is right inside, right here. All right, which is the number that I called. And I couldn't find the model number, but I it's the uh, L LMC0975. And the reason I was calling is I went to Amazon and I wanted to find out what size, or, you know, what replacement glass it was, or you get it through LG or Amazon or your local place, whatever. And I couldn't find any information on what size glass it was. So I figured I'd try and call LG. So I tried to call LG and I went through their, um, I went through their customer service and it said, you know, push, uh, push this button, push this button, push this button. We'll take care of you. And it said, click this button. It will send you a text. And then you can follow the text to resolve the issue online with the chat because it's faster. And, I, and it said, unless you want to wait online. So I said, well, I'll wait online. So I pushed number two. And then it said, we're experiencing long call volume. So please stay on the line. And I stayed on the line. And then it said, thank you for your call. Goodbye. So I called back again. And uh, I didn't want to cut off. So I said, you know what? What I'll do is it said you could push the button and get a chat to your text message. And you could still stay on the line. If the text message, uh, you follow the text message, you can stay on the line of the phone going and, um, and, uh, and, uh, you know, if customer service picked up, well, I pressed the text message thing and it said, okay, thanks for the text message. Goodbye. And it cut me off. So like it didn't do what it was supposed to, but I did, then I went to the text message. Okay. And the text message brings you to LG's website. And you have to decide, do you want product replacement? Do you want product service? Do you want warranty? So I went to warranty first. All warranty does is tell you whether it's still under warranty. And my um, owner's manual says that it's under warranty, limited warranty for like 90 days or one year from the date of purchase. So 
Um, so you really want to go to repair, not warranty. Even if your repair is supposed to be under warranty. So you go to repair and it says, okay, use our chat bot. So you go to use the chat bot and the chat bot says, like, like many other customer service, waiting for agent to connect and the agent connected. And I said, I sent a message. I said, uh, I sent a picture cause you can send pictures. I sent a picture of the owner's manual. I still sent a picture of the model number and I sent a picture of the broken glass. And I said, the glass tray broke and I need a replacement glass tray. And the person said, that's not my area. I'll connect you to the person. And it said, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then it said, thank you, have a nice day. So I was like, okay, we'll try this again. So I chat bought it again. And the second chat bot went a little bit better. I said, hello, hello, hello. Thank you for your message. <laughs> okay, we'll try again. So uh, I chat bought it again. And I said, this is my third try. I'm trying, please help me. I need to find a replacement glass tray for my LG microwave. Um, and they said, they immediately said, that's not my area, but I'll connect you with someone that can help you. And so I waited and waited and waited. And then it said, someone else is here to help you. And that person immediately sent me a message that said, we haven't heard from you in three minutes. Are you still there? So I typed, yes, I'm still here. I was waiting for you to connect. But at that point, they had already left the conversation because they thought that the three minutes that it was waiting for me to connect was me not there. So now it's the third time. Well, fourth time, because it was the phone call, then three times with chatbot. So I said, well, let me scroll a little bit more. And I scrolled a little bit more and it said, send a message to the president of LG. So I sent a message to the president of LG and I said, I had a LG refrigerator that lasted five years and one month and the warranty ended after five years and your service sucks. So, and I explained just like I'm explaining to you that I called, got cut off, the chatbot service doesn't work or they have people working for them that literally just stay on the line for two or three minutes so they can get credit for a call, I have no idea and then they just cut you off. So um, I'm gonna get, give LG products, um, let's say we could do crap, fair, good, great, excellent. I'll give them a good, because when they're working, they work well, but they die. That's the LG refrigerator. Um, this, this glass piece, I don't know how many else, how many others have this model LCM LMC0975. But if you know, there's a million of us out there with broken glass, then that means it's bad. Um, the replacement glass on Amazon was about twenty five dollars. I got this microwave for ninety nine dollars, so I don't know if that's good. Um, I tried running it without the replacement glass, didn't work so good because the thing didn't spin around. So. Um, so, uh, as far as the service, I give them a big fat, you suck. Okay. Um, the refrigerator from a local, uh, place, it was going to cost, uh, for my LG refrigerator, it was going to cost 1200 to fix it. And I got it at Best Buy for 1200 and something, maybe 1500 when I bought the extended warranty or something, which was worthless. All right, because I got like three years, and I said I want five years, and it lasted five years, one month. Um, and, you know, if I called LG and they said, we have this replacement glass, it's $20 for the replacement glass, we'll send it right out to you, I would have been like, fantastic, send me out the replacement. If they said, if they said 15 to $20 for the replacement glass, I would have bought it through LG, I would have had it sent here, I would have had no problems at all. The problem I have is they hung up on me, they disconnected, they disconnected, they disconnected, and just wasted 40 minutes of my time. So, you know, uh, not cool. So, anyway, that is my regular guy review. Um, you can check out my other videos. Um, please give me a like um, and subscribe.
which would be awesome. Um, I got a lot of other things I want to review, and they're just regular items I have around. And listen, I don't want to just do a review of something that is breaking. I want to do a review of something that's great, okay? Um, I recently visited, uh, give you an idea, I recently visited a friend's house, um, and they have a Breville, I have a Cuisinart, um, air fryer, which I love. I should do a review of this. I'll do a review of this. Uh, but they have a Breville, which is bigger. And oh my God, it was amazing. I cooked in there all the time. So I'll do a review of the Cuisinart. Um, and my, I'll do a review of the Ninja cooking system, which I absolutely, absolutely love. And, um, and, uh, and this Gen Air, this Gen Air uh, stove is from 1984 and it still works. And I replaced, whoop, I replaced a couple of parts in it and it still works great. So um, anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Take care.